one of the last techniques that is uh, more pop popularly used is die striking, where a metal mold is made. Um, you have a, a positive and negative um, or a, a two platens, and you insert a piece of metal in between and a hydraulic press comes down and squishes the metal into um, a specific shape or form. Um, you can create rings that way, believe it or not. Um, and uh, that was very popular in the 20s through maybe the 60s or 70s, somewhere in there. It sort of fizzled out with a longer tail. Um, and uh, that was considered mass production. What's really cool about um, die striking is it compresses the crystal structure of the um, of the piece. So anytime you have two, you have an infinite number of hardnesses um, inside uh, inside a metal that has to do with the size or the compression of the crystals inside the material. Um, if you squish them, it gets very hard. If you heat them, it gets fluffy and soft. So fluffy and soft is annealed and uh, squished is work hardened. Um, when something comes uh, is freshly cast, it's in a, an annealed state or a softened state. Um, so that's not that's not ideal or, or perfect, if you will. Um, there are some really technical techniques to kiln harden um, some alloys like there's a, there's a designer that passed away maybe 15, 20 years ago out of San Francisco named Stephen Kretschmer. He has a patent on a, a platinum titanium alloy that can be heat uh, kiln hardened, which um, is just really next level technicalities. Um, but uh, die striking, you can, uh, when, it, when, it, uh, when the hydraulic press hits, it work hardens the material so the end product um, is a very, very rigid piece. Um, a good conceptualization of it is uh, just grabbing a paper clip and you can bend it. And as you bend it, it gets harder and harder and harder. And then it eventually breaks. When it breaks, it's past its zone of being able to be work hardened. And it actually becomes very brittle. Um, you definitely don't want to produce jewelry that's brittle, but you want to bring it all the way up to the point of the maximum amount of hardness. 